Hi everyone, welcome back. So today I just want to show you and play with myself, because I haven't done some of this stuff, play with the a couple of things on the Alpha YZ20. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to update the firmware. If any of you have updated Marlin before, you know kind of what a pain in the butt it is. Sometimes you have to flash a bootloader, you've got to go into the Arduino ISP, or you have to use an EEPROM burner or something along those lines. It takes a fair amount of knowledge and a fair amount of fiddling with before, especially if you're doing it the first time, before you get it right. So let's look how you do it on the Alpha YZU20. First off, you need to go to Facebook. And I know some of you folks probably hate Facebook. Let me tell you something. They're not, it's not my favorite website to go to either. But for this case, we're going to go to Facebook and we are going to join the Alpha YZU10 and U20 3D printer group. And you'll notice right at the top, the moderator of the group is somebody working at AlphaWise or GearBest. I'm not sure exactly where, but they have, and maybe there's somebody else entirely, but somebody in China. I think they're involved with the making of the printer. But they have released a U20 firmware update version 212. It's as of August 21st. So we're going to click on the link. It takes us to a Dropbox page. We're going to click the one we want. That's the one over here to the right, version 2.12. It's a zip file. We're going to click download. RoboForm's going to get in the way, but we're going to close RoboForm and we're going to say direct download. And the download's going to start to our computer. And you can see down here, I've done it a couple times already. But um, I'm going to click there. We're going to say show in folder. And I can minimize my browser. And there it is here in a zip file. So. We are going to, and the instructions are right in there, right here. And it's really pretty simple. You decompress it, you copy two files to your micro SD card project.bin and longer3d.ui. So we are going to put our, you can't see me do it, but I'm putting my micro SD card in my reader. And I'm going to plug the reader into a USB port. And there it is there. This is what's on it now. So we are now going to copy those to longer 3D.UI and project bin. And we're going to drag and drop those onto the, onto, the, onto the card. And that's all there is to it. I'm going to eject the card. And we're going to go over to the printer. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. We have the AlphaWise U20 little touch screen on the front. And I'm going to try and do this while the camera is that close to it so you can see. Sorry, it's not a little bit better, but I think you can get the idea. So we're going to turn the printer off. We are going to put the, the card in that has those files on it. And we're going to switch the printer back on. And hopefully you'll be able to see this. And there's our update right there. There's our firmware update going. You can see the top progress bar is done. The bottom progress bar is going along. And that is it right there, and it'll start back up. There's the new version of our firmware. So you have to remember to take those files off the card next time, or it will try and do it again. And you know, if you've done, if you've done, if you've got an Ender 3 or a CR10 or something like that, and you've gone through the whole rigmarole to get Marlin Flash to it, then it's shocking how easy this is. Now, you can't put at least right now, you cannot put Marlin on it and make all the changes, you know, a customized version of Marlin on it because it has the touch screen. But they have been so far pretty good about getting updates and new features into this. I've been pretty happy with it. So if you have one of these printers, get on that Facebook group. If I were you, I would let somebody else test the new versions and see what they say because there's been a couple of versions that have been less than optimal for what it's worth they do release a new version fairly quickly 
when something doesn't work in one of the ones that they do put in. I've never tried to go backwards. If any of you have done that, put, I put a version in you didn't like and go backwards, let me know in the comment section if it works. But for right now, that's hard how you do it. That's so there you have it. it. I had intended to continue in this video with demonstrating both the filament out sensor and the power resume function of the Alpha YZ20, but life kind of got in the way and I'm going to publish this one and then I'm going to come back in a few days or a week and we'll test the power out and filament out sensors and the resume functionality of both of those. I do want to mention that there is a new version of the Ender 3 called the Ender 3 Pro. I've done a little bit of research on it and the most I can find out is it seems to have an updated bed system. The extrusion down here on the Ender 3 is 20 by 40. This one's 20 by 40 also. This one it lays down flat. On the Ender 3 it stands up solid. On the Ender 3 Pro they have doubled this to 40 by 40. I do not know whether it still has four bed four rollers and that kind of odd offset pattern the Ender 3 does or if it has a better system underneath six rollers like the um, like their CR-10 does and like the Alpha YZ-20 does. It also apparently has an updated extruder mechanism, but from what I can see by looking at pictures, it still looks like a plastic extruder with a non-adjustable spring. And um, I can't tell whether the pivot arm is sleeved or not. Also says ease of assembly. I don't know what that means. It's, at, it's talking up its power supply offers faster heating but my Ender 3 heats pretty fast as it is. Also has a removable magnetic bed, but I was all already under the impression that that was coming on the regular Ender 3s. And it's $100 more expensive. You're looking at a $279 Ender 3, where the Alpha YZ20 you're looking at right now is also $279. I am not sure that I would pay $279 for, a, for an Ender 3, if um, I could get the Alpha YZ20 for the same price. It has an aluminum extruder. It has a six roller bed system, six roller Y axis system. And it's just, to my mind, unless you really want something you can put a customized version of Marlin on, it's just a better printer for the same amount of money. Now, the regular Ender 3 down at 179 bucks, yeah, you're saving 100 bucks. That's another matter entirely. Anyway, I doubt I'll ever get my hands on an Ender 3 Pro. I doubt anybody's going to send me one. So if you have one or if you've seen a decent review on them, let me know. I'm really kind of interested in what it is. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be back testing those other functionalities. Like and subscribe and hit notifications if you want. And I will try and put some coupon codes down below for deals at GearBest. Yes, they are affiliate links. But if you don't like them, you can always just use the code and go there on your own. Have a great day, and we'll see you later. Bye now.